Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming for absolute beginners in FireMonkey course. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you um, how Delphi looks, how the program looks, how Red Studio looks. Okay, so this is called an IDE and IDEs or IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So this is the Delphi IDE or the Red Studio, the Red Studio IDE. I've, I have Red Studio, which includes Delphi and C++ Builder, but you probably only have Delphi if you have the starter, starter edition, which I um, explained in the previous video or two videos back. Okay, so let's start by exploring the IDE. We start off with a simple welcome page with three tabs. Start here, tutorials and documentation. So on the start here, here tab, you'll see projects on the top left corner. And here you can start the different projects or open the different projects. We'll look into, into that in, in a future video, in a, or maybe even in this video, okay? And then on the bottom left, we see tutorials. You can also go to the tutorials tab, and here you'll find find tutorials as well. Okay. I'm going to back to start here. Okay, then here on the top right corner, we have the Get It Package Manager. We'll look into this in a future video as well. But in short, the Get It Package Manager is basically a place where you can download third-party components and uh, plugins and those kind of things. Then at the right bottom corner, we have all of your recent projects. Okay, and you can easily open your recent projects here. You can also add some of them to your favorites, and then they'll appear here at the in the top in the bottom left as favorite projects. But I'm going to be removing these now. Okay. In here, if you go to the right bottom, you'll see a tool palette, which we'll, which we'll be using a lot. But w when we are at the welcome page, the tool palette um, just quickly allows you to open or start different kinds of kinds of applications. Okay. So basically, this is, is the same as the projects here. You can start a project here, or you can start a project here in a tool palette. Okay. For instance, here is the multi-device application, and here is it as well. Okay, if you move here to the main menu, you'll see here is File, New, and here you can also start projects and open them. Same as you can here at the Start Now and the Tool Palette. If you move here to Documentation, here you can find... Okay, it's still loading. It's all online, the, the, the tutorials and documentation. Here you can find the entire documentation for the newest RAD Studio 10.2 Tokyo. Okay, so here you can find anything you want. For instance, let's find something about databases. So we simply go and we search databases. And here we found plenty of, plenty of different things about databases. So the, the documentation is quite useful and I would recommend you guys use it. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go to start here, and here you'll see in the right top, you'll see a project manager. Here you'll see a project manager is where all of the projects will appear that you have open. So let's go and create a multi-device application project. We are mostly going to be working with multi-device. Let's first int introduce different projects, okay? Go to File, New, Other, and here you will see the different applications. So a console application is a simple application with no GUI. A GUI is a graphical user interface. So that is basically what you see. For instance, a console application looks similar to CMD. It's basically this. This is a console application. Okay. Uh, let's look at something else. Okay, FireMonkey Metropolis UI application is basically those um, uh, Windows, Windows 8 kind of apps. We are, we, are, we are going to be working with multi-device application. This is cross-platform, meaning it can compile to it can, it can compile natively to Android, iOS, Mac OS, Windows, um, etc. Okay. Uh, VCL Forms application is just for Windows. So if you if you use this, you could just compile to Windows. I also have a course on VCL. You can find the link of the course in the description of this video. Okay. And we'll be looking into some of these other things as well in the future. Interweb is where you can make uh, a website or web app with Delphi. Okay, so let's start Delphi multi-device application. 
press OK. And here there are the different templates we can choose from. Let's choose a blank application. Okay, so here's our form now. This is our form which we'll be doing most of our work on. Okay. Okay, here on the right bottom corner, we have the tool palette now. And here you can find the different components um, which we can add to the form. For instance, let's add a button. And let's say, for instance, you, you can't find a component, but you know the name of the component of the, of the component or a part of the name. They also have a search bar. So you can, for instance, search for label and then add the label to the form. Okay, so there are, are, different, are a few different ways to add um, things to the form. You can double click on it. You can click once on it and then click on a form and choose a size for it. Or you can click on it and then click on a form. So there are three different ways to add it. You can also search for it and simply press enter. That will also work. Okay. okay so when you move uh, components around the form, you'll see that it, it has um, basically it's moved around, around, the, around the screen. You can, you can resize it here. Same as going for label. Okay. Let's move here to the top right corner. This is the project manager. Which I, which, I, which I spoke about earlier, where you can find your project and the project files. And then here is the target platform. For instance, you can target Windows, 32-bit, 64-bit, Android, iOS, OS X, and yes. Okay, so you can have more than one project. And if you have more than one project, you also have a project group. You can rename it here. For instance, we can name this um, um, our first project okay let's move to the bottom left okay, this is the object inspector and it has two tabs properties and events each component on the form including including the form itself has its own it has its own properties and events okay for instance if we click on the form we'll see here this is the events for the form this is the caption we'll, we'll look into these properties later for instance if i move this button here You'll see this is um, text button 5. You can change the text to whatever we want it to be. As you can see there, the text changed. And here is the width. You can make width is 200, um, etc. Okay. Event, so properties is, is how the component looks. Looks um, basically. Okay, so events is how the button will respond via code. For instance, if you want the button to do something, when we click on it, we will use the on click event. So that's the, so that's what, what events are for. Then here on the left um, top, we we'll see we see the structure panel. So the structure panel simply shows you all of the components you have on your form. And as you can see, these components are all a child of the form component, and the form is a parent of the child because the these components are um inside of the form so it they become a children of the parent and the parent is the form for instance if we add a panel to the form you see the panel is a child of the form then we can for instance put this button inside of the panel and now this button becomes the child of the panel as you can see okay you can also right click on some on, on a button and see some stuff here. For instance, you can go to control and send it to back, as you can see, or send to front. So it determines um, which component is at, is at the top. Okay, if we go here to the top left in the main menu, you'll see here when you click on file, you can save your projects here, which we'll which you'll want to do, of course. We'll look into more. We'll look more into saving project in a in a soon video. The future video okay if you click on a green ar ar arrow here it will automatically compile your application when you compile an application it means it is now um, getting all the code ready we're um, working it back to the computer code and then basically executing it and here we have our first project our application is running this is the normal windows application and it is now running and working so we so you, so you are now officially an upcoming programmer okay if we go here to the 
for Tim, you'll see here is code, design, and history. So design is where you design your form, and in code, you write the code. Then history, it just shows you a history of edits and changes which you have made. Okay, to, to, to quickly switch between uh, design and code, by default you can press F12. And this button switches between the form, the design and the code. Okay, then here uh, you'll see style and view. Let's add some components as well. Let's just add a switch component. So this is currently how um, these components look on a form. Let's add another one. Let's add an edit. Okay. But we can see how it looks on OS X, as you can see, or on iOS, or on Android. But keep in mind that if you are using the starter edition, you will only have Windows. Okay, but that is but that is fine because we will be using Windows um, in this videos. Okay, but I'm just showing you guys different ones. In the view, you can also see how it looks on different devices. For instance, how it will look on a five-inch Android phone, as you can see, or how it will look on a uh, 5.5-inch iPhone, or how it will look on a Windows desktop. Or on, for instance, Google Glass, as you can see. Okay, if you go here to the right, you'll see it has a multi device preview, and here you can check how it looks instantly. By the way, I have a style set, I customize my layout. The default layout of it is actually this. This is how the project how it should look for you when you went into it. Okay. I just changed change it, but I will I will speak soon about how to change it in a future video as well. But for now, um, yeah, this is how it looks by default. Okay, and then here you can find the multi device. Okay, then we have Data Explorer and Model View, but don't worry about that for now. Okay, then here you'll see we can. This is where we, where we actually select select which platform to compile to. So if you for instance here in the project. Select so like we want to compile to Android, you'll see it also changes their top to Android. Let's go back to 32 bit Windows. And yes, guys, so that's basically it for this video. You now should know the basics of the Delphi IDE and get around in it. Um, the rest you'll learn while we program and work on it. So, yes, guys. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If this video helped you in any way, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos. Also, you can go and check out my social media account here on the left side of the screen. And you can go follow me on my social media accounts. And once again, thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. Bye-bye.